Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Spartan. And I'm Pudgy. And we are back watching Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 3. So Mike is officially going to be partners with Walter and Jesse. Mm -hmm. That's going to be an interesting dynamic. I am very much looking forward to seeing how that's going to... I don't know, come together, what it's going to look like, I suppose, and what situations they're inevitably going to get themselves into. Well, we're in the rebuilding phase of this whole production, I guess. Like, we need to start from scratch. Not complete scratch, but, I mean, the biggest thing is finding a place to cook. That's going to, apparently, Walter wants it all. He doesn't want to have to drive far, and he wants it away from prying eyes. He wants the, he wants the Gus lifestyle. Yeah, he wants the Gus lifestyle. We're literally seeing Gus 2.0 before our very eyes. I know. Now, Lydia is also, I believe, going to get recruited to work with them because she can get the chemical that they need. Yeah, methylamine. Methylamine, yeah, I was forgetting how to pronounce it, but she can apparently get it. So I think she just bought her life with that chemical. Got, uh, Mike didn't want to kill her. Like, we saw that, I think, especially for her daughter's sake, because he can really relate to that. But, yeah, he found some use for her. For now. For now. At the same time, Skylar is really struggling to just move past what's happened. Yeah. She's afraid of Walter. She's uncomfortable being in that house. And we've just seen her as a shell of herself. She got really confident towards the end of last season in the way she was managing the business, accepting Walt's lifestyle, you know, coming even with Ted, the dealings, everything we because saw. Because there was a limit. Yeah, and now I think she'd sort of gone in too deep, but she's petrified. And I feel like from what we see from Skylar, she will adapt. She'll come back yeah. even more darker. Like, yeah. she sort of trails behind Walt, but she catches up in time. Yeah, that's true. Well, she doesn't catch up in, in what she's... She does. In, she, in what yeah. she can deal with, she adapts. Yeah. I'm not saying that she... She's very much trying to cover Walt's mistakes yeah. and look after her family. Yeah. But she adapts and she surprised us home and home again. Some are surprised us, some more we expected it, but showing that she's very capable. So she's quite capable. And that's why it's been interesting seeing her. I'm pretty sure in the first couple of episodes, well, at least in the second episode, we only just saw her in her bed. Like there was no other scene that she was just out and about. It was just in bed, defeated and scared literally scared i'm really hoping how last episode ended isn't how it actually ended for her like he forced himself on her that was pretty yeah, i know he was getting affectionate i know you were saying they looked like he was gonna have sex with her but to me it looked more like he was being affectionate and he was giving her his philosophy but i don't feel like he didn't like he was making a move when i said that's right turn over he was taking his underwear off you reckon is this guy serious? I don't know. Are we watching the same show? Like, can you guys please tell him? I didn't see all that, so whatever. Honestly, I don't care. Disgusting. This is what... This is the quality of view viewing you're getting from this guy. Disgusting. It's irrelevant. Disgusting. Whether I knew he's having sex with his wife or not. That's, uh, that's hang on. irrelevant hang on. to story. Hang on. For those of you who don't know... We've just done the Wizarding World quiz and Spartan thought he would be a detective. Uh, detective my ass! No, I'm not, I'm not, this is, I'm not, I'm off the case right now. I'm off duty. When I'm off duty, you're I'm chilling. You're never off duty I'm when off you're duty, watching. I'm chilling. When I'm never. on duty, when I'm on duty, I'm Batman 2.0. Can I ask then, when are you on duty? When I take, when I take on cases based on what I want. Did I start? Yes, you started. Now answer it again. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> Get off my back, woman. I'm trying to watch the damn show. <laughs> Clearly, you're not watching. Oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> I've come in here, like, vulnerable and just, like, ready to just, you know, get real with you guys. You've come in guns loaded. You're slaughtering me. I didn't come in for all. It's all right. Fine. I agree. You won the battle. I'm going to win the war. I am the one that knocks. No, I am the danger. <laughs> Trust me when I say I'll win the war. <laughs> they call me Spartan for a reason. No. You ever heard of anyone in history called Pudgy winning shit? Anything you won maybe is mu muffin eating contest. That's about it. Muffin eating contest? Oh, well, yeah. I'll wait. That's why they call you Pudgy. Okay. <laughs> now, back on track. Back to business. 
I think that we should have anything else to say. I think we've covered everything. <laughs> I think we should get into it. All right. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting the channel. If you do want to get ahead and watch three to four weeks early of our edited and uncut reactions, we'll leave a link in the description down below. And if you guys are watching this over on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more and let us <laughs> and let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> And let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Oh, and I've got my uh, paralegal with me today. Paralegal? Coming up in the world. You know it. Oh. What the hell? Obviously, it's fake, so he can yeah, get yeah, in yeah. and speak to who. This is funny. Hey, Dennis. Who is this Dennis guy? We know him. The manager of the laundry, remember? Oh, yeah. He looks different in an orange jumpsuit. Why is he in jail, though? Because they got all the men, all Gus's men. Oh, he's just here for show and then he yeah. can't listen. Interesting. I've got something new. It's just starting up. It's going to make you whole. Something new. With the feds looking at you? How? I know. Your family's gonna be fine. You will be made whole. Now you got my word. That's a lot. Mikey's a loyal comrade, dude. So what's he gonna do? Work to pay everyone? So he's gonna make a lot of money then to cover them all. You don't mean to get to them all today. Yeah, I do. Hey, hey. let's go! Interesting. Because he wants to make sure that it, before anyone breaks. Yeah, yeah. Moving back in. Yeah, damn. He didn't want to move in before with Gus. Now he's really embracing everything. Oh, because he doesn't think there's any danger. Wrong. I'm home. It's time. Oh shit. Do you uh, really think that's that's a good idea? Yes. They're on way different pages. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no way he's sleeping standing up. Is it an eyes open? Yeah, his eyes are a little open. So Mike knows the business. He knows distributors. Mike's okay. He's okay? He said he was gonna break my legs. Oh yeah, true. He gave me the dead mackerel eyes. He meant it. So, Mike threatened me. Dead mackerel. He threatened Jesse. He probably threatened someone before breakfast this morning. It's what he does. Come on, grow a pair. Oh, oh. shit. Now that we're all together, here are the ground rules. Division of labor, I handle the business. Nah, he doesn't like it. Walt doesn't like that. And you do not tell me how to take care of business. Is that absolutely clear? Unfortunately not. Everyone's waiting for his answer. Sure. All right, let's take the tour. What? I don't think he meant that. Hey, you're okay with that? Yes. He handles the business. And I handle him. Oh my god. Oh shit. Very tricky word games there. You can't wait to throw up a curtain wall, stack some boxes in front of it, give you all the space you need. After that, he's got his business, you've got yours, and never the twain shall meet. I mean, Saul with the contacts. It uses steam and salt to crimp craft paper for cardboard. Which is great, right? No. Steam and salt. When this thing is running, it's like a jungle in here. Right, okay. Not good conditions. Anything food related is gonna have unannounced government inspections. Mm. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Damn. You really gotta think about everything. Gus literally had the perfect setup. That thing rolls up, we're open to the world. I don't know if anybody noticed, but there's a cop shop a quarter of a mile away. Oh. And that's why Walter loves it. It's too obvious. Perfect. 
Oh my god. Typical. Typical. A house is infested. Termites, cockroaches, whatever. Oh. The house stays like that for days. No one looks twice at a tenant house. Now maybe there's a strange smell coming out of it. Does someone think to investigate? No. Does anyone go inside? Hell no. Okay. I'm still waiting for the extra bit. So we pick the one that's best for us. Enough floor space, easy access. Once the tent is up, we go in, we cook a batch, we bomb the place, and leave. Damn. Oh, we're going to keep on moving. That's a lot of work. But it's smart. They're licensed, they're bonded, they do as good a job as anyone in town, but they're also top drawer, second story men. Second story. B and E artists. They're burglars. Right. Okay. So they're right kind of people for this operation. Watching this show doesn't make me feel very safe in this world. Mm -mm. We take a vote. Why? <sighs> oh shit. <laughs> Walt's very confident. He's very smug about it all. I oh, know. No oh way. My God, we haven't seen him for a while. Both of them. Damn. That's very, like another world away since Jesse's been. Very different vibes, these two. Recessed hardware, foam lining, quarter inch laminated walls, what are they up three inch to? casters. Height is good, width is good. How much weight will this hold? Did Jesse get them involved to make the purchase? Yeah, true. Okay, hey, uh, you know what? I'll throw in stenciling. What's your band called? So they got them involved too. Yeah. Jesse's, Jesse's muscle. <laughs> so they're going to put everything in there and that's going to be the way they transport everything. As you go out, you inspect, you deal with the customer's regular drill. Everything's the same, except for one important detail. The detail. And if you're out with your buddies and they ask you, you got a hot tip on a B and E, you tell them you got nada. You're out of the game. The bottom line is that these houses are out of bounds now and forever. Yeah, you don't want any reason for someone to come knocking on their doors. Mm -hmm. Time to time, you're gonna see these two. Now, as far as you're concerned, they are ghosts. You don't see them. You don't hear them. You don't say good morning. You don't speak unless you're spoken to. Holy shit, Mark giving the square up. If they tell you to jump. You don't ask what for. You jump. Now you need a name for them? Holy shit. Call them yes, sir, and no, sir. <laughs> Walter problems, loves that. You come to me. Damn, my. When I was down in Mexico, they, uh, there was this big, big plastic hospital tent they set up inside of the... Oh shit, sorry. Oh yeah, let's talk about Mexico. This is my uh, friend. Hi, Walt. Yes, friend that you've yeah. seen plenty of times friend before. Friend that I knew. Hi, Brock. I'm Walt. Heard a lot oh. about you. Hi. Hi. Yeah, the man that tried to poison you. Yeah, man a few words. I'm sorry. <laughs> he mostly just wants to play his game. Oh, I know that. I have two of my own. A boy and a girl. Hmm. I wonder how he got the poison to the kid. Like, did he leave it in his presence? I was thinking I could make us all some dinner. Are you sure you don't want to? Yeah. Why don't you stay for a beer at least? Oh, my God. Sure, why not? Beer sounds good. I mean, that's the first time he actually took it. He kills me because they're finally becoming friends, but it's now we know, we know, Walt's been a snake, so I can't enjoy it. Let's see what this interaction is. Are they going to have one? But I don't like that look. Hmm. Is there a little bit of regret there? Like, this is the kid? I don't know. I don't know anymore, man. He's too far gone. How much poison are you using? That's not how much. It's getting it where it's needed. Uh, those are your foggers. They disperse the fume and get into the structure where it'll eliminate any nymphs or larvae. Or a meth lab. So you're going to get them all, right? We'll kill them dead. That's a guarantee. Oh my god, God doesn't know what he's signing up for. I ain't calling that pest control anytime soon. I know, far out. Yes. 
There's a, a nanny cam in the living room clock. I disabled it. I just thought you should know. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you gotta worry about all that shit, too. Look at Walter keeping up appearances. He loves it. He loves his power trip now. Yeah. It's like, welcome home. I mean, it's a great plan, but it's a tiring one. You've always got to set up, pack up, set up, pack up. Who is mini set up? God damn. Ready to cook. <laughs> My poor, poor family. That's just like morals out the window, that's pretty much. I personally love how capable Jesse is now. Same. Like, Walt just trusts that he knows what he's doing. Cheers. They're just in their living room. <laughs> oh my God. And I've got to say, seeing you with Andrea and that little boy, <laughs> it was nice. Yeah, it's good, right? Yeah. Well, it was about not to be nice. Oh, man. And the way she looks at you. Oh, I think. Oh, definitely. Oh, they're finally friends now and I can't enjoy it. I mean, you know, she's not stupid. She knows I'm into something, but I mean, she can make a pretty good guess. But I never told her anything. I'm not gonna. Oh, Walter. I just like he's got a backup plan for that. This has to be your decision. I mean, you've earned that. Seriously? Mmm, it doesn't feel genuine. I'm confused. He's playing a game, y'all. I'm just trying to say that I trust you. And I know you'll make the right call. He's always playing these little sneaky traps. Poor I'm not Jesse. liking it, Well, Not liking it. That's why I can't enjoy their friendship. There's no friendship. I think yeah. throw that in the bin. No friendship. Listen, I've had my problems with Walt. Why he wouldn't come to the house when we were all practically begging, whatever. Water under the bridge. Oh, you have well, a Now she has college. problems with Walt. What are you doing? She's smoking again. Ah, oh, wrong, my friend. Baby and Walt? Skylar, you're not smoking around the baby, are you? And you can't smoke here. She'll smoke her when she was pregnant. You can't. Force your employees to breathe secondhand smoke. I know for a fact that that is illegal. Marie, shut up. Yeah, she oh. hasn't stopped talking. I'm sorry. Please don't speak to me like that. I am simply saying that you. Will you shut up? To... Hey. Shut the hell up. She snapped. Shut up, Skyler. Shut up. Please shut up. stop. I... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut hey. up. Shut up. Holy shut shit. Up. Shut up. She had to let it out somehow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, that was stupid fucking Malta. In fairness, Marie didn't take a breath. She was a motor mouth. It's not the cancer. Well, something happened. I don't mean to point the finger, but this didn't just come out of nowhere. Yeah, keep pointing, keep pointing. You heard about Ted Beneke. The accident. That's very convenient, isn't it? Uh, a couple weeks back, Ted took a fall, a bad one. He gave himself a concussion. And he's gonna confirm that they were sleeping together. But that couldn't explain Skylar's. Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh, she doesn't know that. Is it good? But she picked up on it. You do know, right? You. You must know. Oh, he plays God. a very tricky game. He's so good at this. She had suspicions. She was having an affair with Ted Beneke. It was in your case. And he comes out the angel and she comes out hated. Oh my God. Marie, I'm begging you, please keep this to yourself. I don't want Hank to think less of her or me. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. Oh my God. He likes throwing people under the bus, doesn't he? That's how you disarm Marie. 
<laughs> Only this man gets more love for being more of a dick. Oh no. Oh. God damn, he's a great liar. Now he walks in the room, holds a pillow over her head, and good night. Oh my god, stop. Honestly, at this point, it wouldn't shock me. But maybe it is the wake up call that, you know, she's obviously not dealing well with all your moves. Hmm. Hey, you okay? <laughs> really? Oh no. Why would Walt want her to find out? Maybe he thinks that Maybe she'll leave. Maybe it's reverse psychology, I don't know. Mm. But he wants to be in control of everything. He loves control. Oh, that's Walt Jr.'s video game. It's all shooting. Oh no. Oh, Scarface, I think. Yeah, it is. Never mind. Who's watching it? Walt. Oh, and Walt Jr. Okay. And Wait. Holly! Oh. Okay. Hello. Hello to my Hello. Friend. Oh, shit. Popcorn, I think there's pizza left, if, if you're up to it. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm... join us. And... That's all a bit confronting for her, especially the violence on the screen. Technically about spoilers, because we've never seen Scarface. Yeah, we haven't seen I just know that I just don't know the, know the actor. King <laughs> spoiled within a show. Oh no. Transportation is worth 20%. They're taking a risk. Yeah, they I mean it's true. Two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars worth of risk? Well, it's not gonna like these out of his control. My supplier and I came to an agreement. The methylamine is free this time. But brace yourself, because the next barrel is gonna cost big. Oh, damn. Oh. So the cut's going to be much less. You fronted us 120 to get us going. So that's 40 from him and me. 120. Damn, Mike's very fair. I really like that. Ira gets 110 for our piece of the business and 25 per cook. That is 45 from each of us. They're going to be left with nothing. Well, not what Walter's okay with. Ira's guys get 10 each per cook. Holy shit. Goodman's cut, 18,000 from each. He underestimated Gus's whole operations. Way for Walter Pop. $351,000, that's 117,000 each. Legacy cost? What's a legacy cost? You don't know them, but they were part of the previous operation, and they know a lot. And right now, some of them are in jail, and more will be soon. The feds mm. recode their hazard pay. So, we are going to make them whole. Oh, wow. He didn't sign up to this. It sounds like a simple shakedown. Simple as that. We're paying for their silence. That's blackmail. Well, that does not like being pushed to the corner. This is business. End of story. And he thinks he can handle you, Mike. It should come out of your end. Hey, hey, stick out of mine. All right, go for Aww. it. I don't care. Let's take it. Jesse's Jesse. too good, man. I knew he was footing the 120 or whatever it was. No. No. Jesse, thank you, but no, I'll pay my share. You can't be shown up by Jesse, that's why. Yeah, but he's got other plans. I know it. I know it. 137,000 is less than with Fring. <laughs> this is Walter. Just because you shot Jesse James, don't make you Jesse James. That's Ooh. a big reminder for him. Okay, that's true. That's true. Mike is the one guy right now that Walt's not. Equal to, he's not mm -hmm. above or below. But I do feel like now, that's the what other limit. He's gonna have to kill Mike. How are you feeling? Okay, I guess. Broke it off with Andrea. Oh no. She's gonna tell Brock. Oh my God. I meant this. How are you feeling about the money? 
Walter's the devil. He doesn't even care. You're looking at it wrong. When we worked for Gus, we were cooking 200 pounds a week. This last batch it was great, but we didn't even crack 50 pounds. Oh, wow. We maybe cleared less money, but we got a bigger piece of the pie. Jesse, wow. Running a business is a whole different thing to being an employee. I was sure that Gus did what he did to send me a message. Maybe there's another reason. What do you mean? He thinks he'll send like a message. Victor trying to cook that batch on his own, taking liberties that weren't his to take. Maybe he flew too close to the sun. No. Oh my god. Is he talking about Mike or like? I think so, yeah. <sighs> Walt's losing the plot this season, man. He didn't care about just his breakup. Even though he's the one that planned it. Oh, he's so true. I know, I know. The fact that he planted that. Ugh. He was just like, yep, yeah, check. Happened. That's what I wanted. Jesse, you need to get onto this. You're a smart guy. That's really pissed me off. A lot. Yeah, this season's probably the hardest it's been to watch Walter in action. I think up until the end of season four, there felt like there were still redeemable qualities or moments. Even his interactions with people like Jesse and stuff felt like he was... He might have felt like he was above, but he wasn't actually above. Like, he might have treated Jesse like shit or whatever, but he was still... Treating him like shit from a Walter point of view. Whereas now it's like he's elevated his ego to some yeah. platform where he talks to everyone like he's levitating above them. Yeah. And also like he's just playing everyone like a chessboard. None of his interactions feel genuine. I think that's what I'm getting at. Yep. None of his interactions now feel genuine. Yeah. And that's what makes me feel like, oh, whereas at least when he was treating just like shit in the past, at least I felt that he was genuinely angry or genuinely telling him advice or whatever. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I know, gone are the days that they were in that that RV and you know you saw them have a couple good times and whatever I mean barely rarely right but at least we saw that to some degree now it's like everything has an agenda so that makes me like uh nostalgic and sad when you mention the RV because I just feel like that was their best period when they were making a bit of money but they were still them isn't it sad though that the best period was still shit yeah I know I know. And I wanted these two to be friends. When they finally do, Walter, he's, he's gone to a level of... He's so manipulative. Yeah. So disingenuous that it just... I can't embrace any of the interactions. Mm, mm hmm Now, I don't fully understand what was just said then. I feel like I have to re-watch it. Well, he was talking about Victor, right? The guy who got his throat slit. Yeah. And he thought that the message was sending them the message. Yeah. But he's saying perhaps... It was the way he's looking at it, it wasn't so much about what Gus meant, but more about his what's going on in his brain now. Yeah. He was saying that he thinks that Victor stretched his hand too far, started acting on his own, independently of orders, yes. and needed to be put back in his place. And he's yes. hinting that towards Mike, that yes. if Mike starts to... Mike's taking too many matters in his own, own hands that Walter's not aware of. I told you, it may not have happened last season, but I am correct. Mike is going to die. Yeah. I can see Mike getting outplayed by Walter. It's going to be sad, but Mike's also played the game, so they're all in it evenly. But Mike is the biggest barrier right now. Yeah. Saul and Jesse are pretty under control from Walter's behalf. How bad do you feel for Jesse? He's just like prepared to fool all the money. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't fight. Blah, blah, blah. It's okay. Just take all of mine. Like, that is so... Ugh. Jesse is the most redeemable of this group at the moment right now. Like, he could almost move on with his life and still... Yeah. Because he's still a genuine guy, but he's just... This is the only life he knows in terms of making money. I just hate that Walter planted this seed with Jesse and Andrea. Uh, what what was it for? Maybe, like, because it happened after the interaction with Brock, did Walter just not want that constant reminder around, like, having Brock there? Like, I honestly think it's as selfish as yeah, that. Okay. I honestly think it's as selfish as that. Mm -hmm. Potentially, because they did emphasize him looking at him. And not just that, but but perhaps also just the liability of, of them in general affecting Walt. Yeah, but, you yeah. Can, but the, interesting. The Brock one's a big one. 
And so he planted that seed to try and get him to break up with his relationship. Wow. Yeah, I mean, he, he is several moves ahead. That does make sense. What is pissing me off? You know what the thing is? You guys in the comments, you know, when we're... When we're more understanding with Walter and his behaviours and whatnot, you guys are really harsh on us in the comments. And I'm going to say I back every every word that I said, right, up until this point because you guys obviously have had the liberty of watching ahead of us and you know the end result. Yeah, I was going to say hindsight's a very skewed advantage because yeah. people don't understand that, yes, we challenged him all of his motives the last couple of seasons too, but from the first time watch, when you don't know where it ends up, a lot of the interactions could be deemed as genuine, and perhaps they still were. I'm not 100% yeah. sure, but when you know where he ends up, then yeah. you start to go, oh, well, you start questioning that's him where more. he ends up. So he's always been heading towards that. So they've all been you know, part yeah. of this game and this dangerous whatever. It's like, well, we're looking at it from a person who's gradually de descending. And yes, you can, you know, yeah. there was parts of Volta that were still fighting back. We saw the wrestles he had when he refused Gus. Yeah. He was wrestling and fighting within himself up and back, you know? I obviously am leaning more towards, you know, that's always been within him. And of course it has been, but... I do think on a rewatch, I would still see that genuine side to him. That's just what I do. I try and see the best in people and I try and understand their motives more rather than just like, oh, this is where they end they have ended up and that's who he is. Like, I don't see the world in that way. So even on a rewatch, I don't think I could fully like commit to that point of view. But yeah, he's heading down. A, I mean, he's headed down a really horrible path. He's there. He's at that destination. Yeah, I don't think that point of view is correct anyway, if from our perspective anyway. Yeah. There, there was, there's a lot of context and nuance to look at behind yeah. his actions and the actions don't define the person in of itself. So mm -hmm. seeing his actions, a lot of actions that were cruel and manipulative and, and that's not, not justifying them or defending them, but it's understanding that they could be coming from a, a, a place of fear, desperation, a, yeah. a lot of factors, you know. You've got a man on his deathbed, failing to fight for his family and it starts to skew his perception of right and wrong and his limits and... You know, he's driven by this underlying insecurity. There's yeah. a lot to look at there. So, yeah, that's where we come from. Again, I'm not justifying anything, but I want you to imagine yourself. And it's it's also hard to do that without actually being in those shoes. But like you said, deathbed, like broke, all these things, right? Everything that Walter's gone through. I, I don't know. Like a lot of you think you'll make a lot of better decisions. You might potentially, but there's a lot of people that... Yeah, you underestimate you know, being in that situation. Yeah. And being somebody that has the values and the sense of purpose and duty that Walter has. Not everyone shares that desire. It's like, yeah. oh, I don't care. I would have just left it be. Cool. But everyone's different. Yeah. But I'm sure you're sick of having us lecture you now, Pudgy. <laughs> thank you for the that was segment of Pudgy lectures the community. No, I wasn't lecturing. <laughs> no. Hey, maybe a little bit, yeah. You made some good points. We'll give you the points. Just putting you in your place a little. Yeah, well, there Lecture. you go. There you go. And you guys think she's nice. I am nice. Oh, <sighs> <Heisman> pudgy. <laughs> Back onto the actual show. Yeah, sorry. Interesting that they mentioned Walter's birthday. And I, I feel the connection is that yeah. we're seeing events leading up to his birthday. So which makes me think it's not too far away. It could be within several months because obviously... Did they say his 52nd birthday? Or did they didn't. So it could mm -hmm. be his 51st and it's a year away. I mean, the amount of hair... It could be two years. I don't know why, but I feel like it's 50. He's turning 50. Or maybe... He... No, no, no. He already turned 50 in the first season. Okay. Because well, I'm must, pretty must sure... must be 51 then, if that's correct. Because I'm pretty sure the 50 um, Skylar would make with, made it with bacon, remember? Oh, well, the fake bacon. The veggie bacon. Yeah, I, I don't remember, honestly. But if that's the case, then the timelines would be he's 51 now. Yeah. Which and, gives him another year. So yeah. that means we might cover some some ground in this season. Some, yeah. A good amount of time. So that, anyway, that was just that connection. Yeah. I was just sort of putting time periods. The other thing was Skylar herself. Like her, she's obviously really struggling with this. And Walter's covered it up, as always, fantastically. But, I know. But she's in all sorts. She's struggling emotionally. It's just going to be interesting to see how she overcomes this. He all. just found another way to put it back on her. She had an affair, blah, blah, blah. Like... Really? Yeah. And I do see, like, at this point, it's become blatantly obvious. Skylar is getting the raw end of the stick. I haven't always seen her eye with her or always loved her. But right now, I think she's doing a pretty heroic effort. She's getting misunderstood and hated by everyone. Yeah. And all to cover up 
her Most husband should still be the father to the children that she wanted to be. You know, she said, oh, I'm going to give her kudos and credit there. And she has to live in silence about this man that is so violent. He, She has to let her kids be around him. Like, as a mother, I'd be really scared. Like, you're essentially dating a serial killer. Well, not dating. Married to a serial killer. Yeah. Because remember, it a, gets easier. And a drug manufacturer and all kinds of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Now I want to see where all these people in the comments are at right now. Because you know what I just thought of? What? Here I am. Here's the Spartan lecture. Yeah, it's coming, but this is different now. Yours was more like um, lecture morality. I'm just screwing them up on their bullshit. <laughs> all those comments. A lot of the, a lot of the, I think the Game of Thrones people from the Cersei days, who just, just pin me as someone that just doesn't like female characters at all, even though yeah, yeah. I've evidently liked like a hundred on the channel. And I remember the early Breaking Bad comments, they were like, oh, here we go. Classic Spartan's going to be hating on Skylar for everything she had, blah, blah, blah. Well, rewind about a minute. Yeah, boy. All right. <laughs> I give good characters. I give them their due. I analyze them as best as I can. I'm going to have my biases, but I do always analyze them as best I can. And I have like a lot of the female characters when I can understand or see the value in there. In there. And when you've when you got a snake like Cersei, there is no value. Yeah. Throw her in the bin, melt the ashes and never see her again. Done. That's Heisen Spartan, by the way. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I do actually, a lot more than people didn't think that mm. I would be able to symbolize it all with Skylar's actions, and I do. And I actually, you know, I see the damage while swimming here. So in the comments, I better see, I want to see praying hands. I want to see, <laughs> praying I hands. want to see begging for mercy, ask for forgiveness. When I don't see, I'm going to go back and find those names. I'm going to ban them all. <laughs> yeah, I'm going full Heisenberg on this shit now. I just oh thought about my it. God. I'm going to turn this video, forget the title, it's not a reaction, it's a lecture. We're just, it's yeah, just I know, Matt is angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more intrigued with Mike. Like, I, I don't know what you think. Do you think it's right that he's now paying his guys out of their cut? Like, it does that well, burden have to fall on Walt and Jesse? Yes, and here's why. Okay. First, I'm going to scratch my eye because it's itchy. <laughs> Thanks, Larry. <laughs> Sorry. Walter killed Gus. Yeah. Now he wants to get back in the business. Yeah. There are certain overheads to do with Gus, which tie into Mike, which tie into them. Yeah. Loose ends, which are these people who, again, because of Walter's actions, they are then likely to talk and they can trail back and they are loose ends. And they, Gus, uh, yeah, okay. sorry, Walter and Jesse are very much involved in that, especially when they want Mike involved in the business. But even without it, I think that they're still loose ends to that. Mm -hmm. So yes, if you're coming in business together, you've got to clean up the mess you made before yep. and then be able to move past And it. Mike was right. He, he used Jesse something. I don't know the name, but you know, you shouldn't have killed the man that you weren't prepared to take his responsibilities. Like, yeah. Okay. So I, I do, cause I wasn't sure when I asked you that question. I was like, Oh, I can't really think about it, but I think you laid it out pretty nicely. It should fall on, on them. Yeah, and it's getting an insight into what running an enterprise like us would look like. The yeah. overheads, the costs, the things that pop up. There's a lot to it. Yeah. And that was all the... He only had like a hundred grand left out of what he thought should have been like over half a mil. Mm. And that's not including the money they've got to pay for the... Methylmine. Methylmine next time. So, yeah. yeah it's. <laughs> but Jesse had a good outlook. We're, we're taking a bigger yeah. chunk of the pie. Or bigger cut of the pie. So... Jesse's surprisingly been the most mature level-headed of all this. I know. You know. I'm really liking his character progression. Like, I wonder yeah. where he's... I don't see him dying. I see Mike dying. I see Walter dying at the end. Yeah. I don't think he's dying. So I wonder Jesse, where he's going to be left. I reckon he'll start a good life after that. I hope so. That's what I want for him. Maybe come back together with Andrea or something at the oh. end. When, he, when he's out of the life once for good. Once for the all. The man was starting to feel happy again, you know. And of course, Walter has to rip that out of his... Oh my God, it's pissed me off. I... I Piss me off real hard, real hard. But I am enjoying season five a lot. Yeah. The pacing is the best it's been. Every episode has big things in it. These episodes are flying. Like they're going really quick. I'm like, oh shit. Like I'm just engaged yeah. every second. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this season play out. Guys, we hope you enjoyed our reaction to this episode. Leave a like on the video, subscribe for more, and let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this episode. And if you do want to watch three to four weeks early, check out our Patreon for the edited and uncut reactions. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you guys on our next reaction. See you guys.